Hey guys, I'm the Log Picking Patrolman, and tonight I want to share with you the latest addition to my Abus collection. If you've watched my channel before, you'll know that I am a bit of an Abus aficionado. Uh, you can see by my uh, small but growing Abus collection. Um, you'll also know that I have a penchant for locks that are blue, like these. You also know that this new lock is not blue like the others. Um, but that's okay because the uh, the seller that I purchased this lock from is fairly local to where I live. And he's given me several good deals before. And when he asked if uh, red was okay because he was out of the blue uh, 8345s, um, I, of course, told him that was fine. Uh, however, I asked him to give me a cylinder that had some decent bidding for picking on there. And you can see we've got some uh, decent highs and lows and some more highs. Um, also, you'll notice by the key that this is one of the new um, Avis 888 cylinders. And if you look at the keyway, it actually spells out Avis. Um, the Lock Picking Lawyer did a video on this core just a few weeks ago and quite frankly beat me to the punch on it. Uh, however, um, I'm glad to have had this, uh, or glad to have been able to get this lock. Um, it is pretty, pretty fun to pick. Um, the most challenging part of picking it is tensioning. Uh, you guys know that I normally use top of the keyway tensioning, um, However, on this warding, it may make you a little nervous or uh, seem a little bit confusing, but up here in the A of the ABUS that it spells out, if you pick between this piece of warding and this piece of warding, then normally you can fit a top of the keyway tensioner in there. However, I will uh, caution you, uh, based on lessons learned with my little 7240 that is green, and has the miniature version of this core in it that uh, if you apply too much tension, you can actually uh, damage that warding. Um, but I'm still gonna use moderate tension and just reach right up in there with my uh, Darkwood Picks uh, medium hook. And I've set one, I believe, that this has the standard ABIS configuration of pin one being a standard with two very light serrations on it. Um, and then all the rest are spools. I think I just set three. Uh, let's see, four, yep, just set four. I think I'm on five now. And let's see if we can get him up there. Yep, five. Now let's reach under six. I think I overset six just there. Um, let's see here. And I think I just dropped something else. All right, let's start back here. All right, got our false set back. I believe two might be set. Three. All right, four. Let's go to him. I think I just set four, five feels set, six set, and then I'm back on, uh, I believe it's three, and we got it open. All right, cool. Um, this is a key retaining uh, cylinder. Well, excuse me, it's set up to be key retaining uh, with the 8345ALs. Uh, uh, especially the Series 2, as this one is. Uh, you can see by uh, this little mark right here, uh, which is uh, supposed to be in the 2 shape, but is actually a copy of the shape of their little Z-bar. And I'll show that to you here while we're taking this guy apart. I am going to move the camera just a little bit. been having some difficulty with my... Uh, getting my camera just right tonight, um, probably because I'm a little out of practice. I haven't been doing that many videos lately. 
Uh, all the guys from work have been keeping me busy. Oh, well. All right. Uh, just a standard Phillips uh, screwdriver in the shackle hole. Loosen that guy up. I've not taken this lock apart. I have picked them a few times off camera. Um, and you can see it drops right out like that. And on the back, we have a regular uh, C-clip holding in the actuator. Uh, the Z-bar, yep, there he is. Uh, there's that screw that came out. But you can see uh, right down in there the Z uh, brass Z-bar down there in the bottom. Um, Hobby Picker just recently went over uh, the Z-Bar and showed the different ways you can put it in. I'll put a link to his video as well as a link to the video of lock picking lawyers uh, picking the cylinder um, in my description. But let's go ahead and get this guy apart. I'll take my standard can opener to remove the uh, clip on the back. Let's see. It is a brand new lock, and I do hate to scrape it up, but you know. Oh well, it adds history to the lock. All right, and there's the actuator. So now he's in just the right angle, and I'm going to get my follower. Uh, go ahead and get my pinning mat. And my tweezers ready. Now, I don't want this this groove right here to be lined up with the Bible. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to turn this so far great video into a really really bad day. Um, also, the uh, retainer pin that is spring loaded on the side of the core here uh, will need to be pushed in. However, you need to keep in mind where that retainer pin is, both when removing the cylinder from the core and also reinserting it otherwise i guarantee you will have a bad day if you want to know how i know that then just ask me in the comments below so we're going to uh, pull that out it came out fairly well and go ahead and bring this camera in some more again guys i apologize for having to readjust the camera so many times I've been out of practice. Um, um, actually, work hasn't been quite so bad lately. Just busy as always during the summertime uh, with people needing off from work and such. Um, and I've also managed to uh, get a couple of my coworkers involved in picking and lock sport. And I'm glad to have done that. Uh, I loaned one of my co-workers uh, some picks that I had that I didn't normally use the other day and also some other locks and he was uh, actually quite fast on the uptake from watching uh, some of my videos as well as some of your guys videos um, so there we can see all of the key pins that came out of the Cylinder, uh, nothing real special about it, except that it has uh, anti-drill protection here and here. Um, has this little cavity right here, which would be for construction keying. Um, in other words, this pin would have a little ball bearing on it, and a construction key would lift it up just so that the ball bearing pushed up on the pin in the Bible, but did not release the ball bearing. However, when the owner key was used it would push that ball bearing up and when the lock was turned the ball bearing would fall into that little pocket and then the construction key would no longer be of any use um, anyway all right let's get this guy to focus and we'll get what's in the core all right and like i said i believe this is the standard abus configuration of one standard pin with a couple of light serrations, which you can see maybe. Oops, took that out of frame. Um, you can see right there. And we'll get these other guys out. I believe the rest are spools. Yep, 
two is a spool, three is a spool, four is a spool, five is a spool, and six, guess what guys, six is a spool, how about that, wow, surprise, <laughs> all righty guys, so here's what we've got, uh, just like I had predicted, and I'll give you a close-up, uh, we can see in chamber one, it had a uh, standard ABUS pin with a couple light serrations, and then all the rest were spools. Uh, nothing special in the core or cylinder. Um, so, all in all, not a bad pick, but not the most challenging. Uh, probably the most challenging part of this lock cylinder is the uh, keyway, which you can see gives a lot of uh, little nooks and crannies to get jammed up on uh, with the warding. But nothing that a pick in 22 thousandths with a steep enough hook on it can't handle. Um, so anyway, that's it for this lock tonight. Um, I would like to uh, put out to all of my subscribers and people who are also randomly watching this video. Um, I am located, of course, if you can't tell by my accent, in the United States. And a while back, I bought this Abus uh, 8655. Uh, which takes the half euro cylinder. Um, I'm looking for a decent supplier of the half euro cylinder that will fit in this lock uh, that is located in or relatively near the United States. If you guys could give me any advice on that, please leave it in the comments below or send me an email or private message. But anyway, guys, have a great night. As always, please don't pick any locks that don't belong to you. Please do click like. Please don't pick any locks that are currently in use, even if they do belong to you. And please do click subscribe. All right, have a great evening.